Hello, my name is Ector and in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to hide lighting in survival Minecraft. So let's get straight into it. So to begin with, uh, these are all the kind of the best and easiest light sources that you can get currently in survival Minecraft. Okay, now obviously the two cheapest and easiest are the humble torch and the jack-o-lantern. Okay, then we move on to glowstone and the sea lantern. Now, of course, these are a little harder to come by. You know, you either need to go searching in the nether, get a witch farm or guardian temples, well, ocean temples or have some kind of guardian farm. So these require a bit more effort. And then uh, we have the redstone lantern, which of course needs redstone and it needs some sort of, you know, on switch basically to work. And then the end rods, which are very cool. And, uh, and can do cool things like that and be put on the side, which is a very cool thing to happen in Minecraft. Pretty much no other block can do that, okay? Next, we have we have these light sources. Now, these light sources are a little bit different, and you probably wouldn't use them a lot uh, unless you have a build that, well, maybe is a bit hellish. You could obviously, if you have a fireplace, you know, just a, a roaring fire will work nicely as kind of hidden lighting but obviously not a lot of builds will have that so these can all be used as uh well they won't be hidden as much as on show but you can work them into the design now funnily enough lava i discovered whilst doing research for this video actually blocks light uh but it emits light itself so it actually doesn't make a difference but just a, a funny little thing and then the magma blocks you have to actually put a light source next to them for it to retain that light um level so just be aware of that if you are planning to use magma blocks as a lighting source now so these are all the lighting options uh you also need blocks to hide them with so all of these are basically uh oh these are actually also blah, blah, blah. These um, blocks are also some that actually emit light, but they're kind of not as useful. OK, so let's just let me get this and that. There we go. The beacon obviously emits quite a lot of light, but that is really quite hard to get in survival Minecraft. So and you would have to make a kind of design feature of it again. Uh, same with the furnace. Now, obviously, if they're not active, it doesn't do anything. But if they are active, it produces quite a lot of light redstone ore again you can kind of see then it kind of switched on so that only works if you kind of come into contact with it or something comes into contact with it so again not very useful ender chest it emits a bit of light but it also has particles so that might not be too useful but it's there in case you do want it and uh portals nether portals actually do emit light the actual portal itself and it's also it's also uh, a um a uh a block that light can shine through okay it's transparent so if you need a little bit more light from another portal you can put some light behind it just a, a little something to keep in mind now these blocks also give off light but it's so um low it's like a light level of one that it's not really going to help you but just for your information now we've got all the light sources there what we need now is blocks that kind of are transparent that light can shine through with which you can hide things just a note before we move on these uh, slabs and stairs will not let light through in pc and i think console editions okay on pocket edition apparently the light does come through so just to note that uh, this even though it looks like if we go to the night we should be able to see there you go it looks like it looks like very much like you can get light from this but if we look on here you can see the light level there it says zero it is on the on the left hand side it says light level zero so just bear that in mind that these on, on pc and i think console don't work now these are the best in my opinion are ways to hide light in survival kind of minecraft okay so we have the piston trapdoor uh, pressure plate leaves carpet chests doors and of course glass now glass doesn't really hide it but you can kind of get what i mean by it we'll, we'll go through some examples these are probably the kind of bread and butter of hiding light in survival minecraft now these are some lesser known and lesser used block options okay so we have daylight sensors beds hoppers cauldrons 
paintings, shulker boxes, which is very new, uh, ice, banners, snow, uh, enchanting tables, and slime blocks. Okay, so these are fairly useful, depending, very much depending on the build. And lastly, we have these things, which also do um, hide, well, uh, are transparent, so light can come through them, but they're not that useful. Now, there are some other blocks, like redstone repeaters and comparators and uh, loads of kind of little blocks like that, you know, cactus and cobwebs, and I'll put a link to a list of all the transparent blocks that do work, but a lot of them kind of aren't that useful in survival Minecraft building, so I've not really included them in this list. Now, let's go on to some examples. Now, the most obvious examples are the carpet, okay? If you have, uh, if, if you're in grass, putting some green carpet above uh, either a jack-o'-lantern or a torch, I'm sure you all know this, but just in case you don't, also be aware, don't place the torch uh, on the side oh, like that, because that will not work. What you what you will get, well, it will work, but what you'll get is you can see, there you go, you can see the particles coming up. So you need to put it like that for it to hide the particles. OK, so very simple. Now, the other thing we have here is the grass. Uh, well. The, um, the leaf and the glass blocks, okay? Now these only work, I think, if you have, you know, other things near them. So, for instance, I always hide uh, my kind of lighting like that and make a bit of a thing uh, with it. So you, it kind of covers it. Now, if you're playing on a different setting, there you go, I've set my graphics to fast now and that actually does hide it. So it depends how you want to play it, but leaves can be transparent uh, or not in their looks but they are always transparent uh, it doesn't matter what kind of graphics you set and um, the light will always come through a leaf block now a new thing that was added fairly recently is trapdoors now can kind of uh, be placed without a, a block at their side which means you can hide a light just like that iron trapdoors work exactly the same okay so again these can be placed on the ground you can Make a little bit of a thing about them uh, like that. They just look weird, look a little bit odd. But if you kind of make them part of the natural surroundings, they actually work quite well. Now, this one is one of my favorite ones, actually, and a kind of new. I've not really ever used this before, but um, redstone lanterns uh, can have uh, pressure plates being put on them. Now, of course, you need to power that light in order to work. But what it does is it provides a nice border around uh, and pressure plates can't be put on, well, they can be put on that, but you get the awkward border, I think. And But they can't be put on the either glowstone or sea lanterns because um, they are fully transparent blocks. So you can't place them on there. It's like glass. So this is a nice thing. You can easily hide a lot of lighting. And I think the pressure plates, especially the wood ones, work really nice, but all pressure plates work in this manner. Now, next, shulker box, very simple. Now, these are very expensive, but they are very cool. If you do want to hide a little bit of light and maybe have a shulker box somewhere, you can add just that little bit of extra uh, hidden lighting with a shulker box. Um, snow, snow layers. Snow layers are transparent. As long as it's less than a full block, it is transparent. Now, the only thing is it needs to be about three blocks away. Uh, otherwise, the snow will melt. So that is just something to be aware of. Uh, you can't have the kind of full light level, but if you have a lot of snow in the area, this might be a good way to hide some lighting. Next up, we have pistons. Pistons are one of the best ways, I think, to hide uh, lighting in survival Minecraft. And that's because, first of all, pistons can have a, quite a nice texture. They have a lot of different textures. You can use the bottom, you can use the top, or you could use the side to actually make uh, kind of cool patterns, basically. Oh, let's try that again. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And you can make really quite nice patterns with pistons on the floor. So pistons are excellent, like really excellent to hide lighting with. Um, cauldrons and hoppers are also transparent. Now these on the floor don't work as well because you can kind of, you can fall into them. Uh, but we'll look at a different example of them later. But just so you're aware, they can, they can hide lighting. Now, on the side of things, uh, the painting. The painting is one of the best ways to 
just get a bit of hidden lighting in your builds. It's a very simple way, but it works really effectively. And of course, I've just I've just knocked all that out. Um, doors. Doors are transparent, which is a cool thing. Now, I like the spruce doors uh, to be used like this. I think they work quite well as just like a cabinet door or something like that, or even a wall like that. And you can hide, you can hide some lighting just behind it quite nicely. Now, the only other doors that are kind of um, basically full, uh, which is to say they don't have holes in them, are the birch and the dark oak. But I don't like the way that you can see the hinges and you can see, you know, the little handles. Um, the spruce ones don't have that, which I think means that they work a lot nicer uh, as a wall. But what you could do is you could have, if you have a room uh, somewhere in your in your building, uh, you could easily hide some lighting just below it or just uh, through it quite nicely and then that kind of does hide it if you have maybe a corridor or something like that that's a nice little easy way to hide light with a door now the ceiling ones the ceiling ones are some of my favorite ways to hide light in vanilla minecraft uh, first of all this is a bed beds are transparent now to place a bed you do need to put some blocks underneath and then remove them but the beds stay there and it it looks quite cool it's a, it's a bit of a it looks kind of like an oak texture but it is a little bit different. It looks quite nice. It has a different kind of height and you could easily make a really cool pattern out of that. Uh, next up, can you guess what these are? These are daylight sensors. What a cool pattern. I really like those. I'm gonna have to use those pretty soon, I think. It's a really nice pattern. So again, these are completely transparent. You could obviously, you can use them on the, on the ground as well. And you know, design wise, they have two kinds of, um, of color so you can play around with that i don't think they look that nice like that though i just i think they're hard to work into uh buildings so i would stick with the bottom texture and here we have the hoppers and cauldrons i said we were going to come back to these uh, and i think again if you kind of use all of these in a ceiling pattern you know just with normal kind of blocks i think I think you could come up with a really cool looking ceiling pattern. I really do. I think they look quite nice. And lastly, we have ceiling wise, uh, we have enchanting tables. Enchanting tables are transparent. Now, obviously, you could just use them in a, you know, in your normal kind of enchanting setup. You could easily um, hide some light under there. But, you know, that is a very, well, it's a very recognizable block. So you not, might not be able to use them everywhere, but you can use them as a ceiling. So that's just another option. Now, lastly, lastly, we have uh, these trap um, trap doors. They're not trap doors. They are armor stands. Uh, if you place a torch there, you can actually there you go. You can actually hide that lighting. Now you can see, still see a little bit of particle effects. So just be aware of that. Now there is, in fact, a better way to light up an armor stand. I did not come up with this. I saw this on Reddit. Um, but I don't know who uh, originally came up with this. And this is a really cool way of lighting up uh, an armor stand or just using it as hidden lighting. And what we have here, this isn't powered by anything except for the pressure plate itself. So you basically, you can put, uh, let's do that and let's get a pressure plate. There we go. Um, we can put that on there, use the pressure plate and then there we go, and it lights up itself, which is a really nice way of getting some hidden lighting into your armor stands or just your builds. So there we have it. These are some ways to hide lighting in survival Minecraft. I hope this has given you some ideas. Maybe, you know, you've got a few more blocks that you didn't realize that you could use in your builds to hide lighting. If you did enjoy it, a like or comment is always very much appreciated. And of course, make sure you're subscribed for more tutorials, more Let's Plays from my channel. As for me, I've been Actor. This has been How to Hide Lighting in Survival Minecraft, and I will see you in the next one.